up in a wonderful home with two dedicated and loving parents, uh, one of uh, five brothers and sisters. A home where we as, our, as children were the focus of, of my parents' lives, where we regularly attended church, uh, two Christian parents who did not drink, they did not smoke, there was no gambling, there was no physical abuse or fighting in the home. That basically, I was a normal person. I wasn't uh, some guy hanging out uh, at bars or a bum. Uh, I wasn't a pervert in the sense that, you know, people look at somebody and say, I know there's something wrong with them, and just tell. I mean, I, I, I was essentially a normal person. I had good friends. I, I, uh, I lived a normal life, except for this one small but very potent and very destructive segment of it that I kept very secret and very close to myself and didn't let anybody know about it. And part of the shock and horror for my dear friends and family when years ago when I was first arrested was that they just, there was no clue. They looked at me and they looked at the, you know, the, um, the all-American boy. And it happens, it, it happened in stages, gradually. It doesn't necessarily, not to me at least, happen overnight. My experience with, I say pornography generally, but with pornography that deals on a violent level with the sexuality, um, is that once you become addicted to it, and I look at this as a kind of addiction, like an addiction, you keep craving something which is harder, harder, something which, which gives you a greater uh, sense of, uh, of uh, excitement, until you reach the point where the pornography only goes so far. You reach that jumping off point where you begin to wonder if, if maybe actually doing it will give you that which is beyond just reading about it or looking at it. Listen, I'm no social scientist and I haven't done a survey. I mean, I, I don't pretend that I know what John Q. Citizen thinks about this. <clears throat> but I've lived in prison for a long time now. And I've met a lot of men who were motivated to commit violence just like me. And without exception, every one of them was deeply involved in pornography without question, without exception, deeply influenced and consumed by an addiction to pornography. There's no question about it. The FBI's own study on serial homicide shows that the most common interest among serial killers is pornography. Those of us who are, who have been so much influenced by violence in the media, in particular, pornographic violence are not some kinds of inherent monsters. We are your sons and we are your husbands. And we grew up in regular families. And pornography can reach out and snatch a kid out of any house today. He, he snatched me out of my home. They snatched me out of my home 20, 30 years ago. And, and as diligent as my parents were, And they were diligent in protecting their children. And as good a Christian home as we had, and we had a wonderful Christian home, uh, there is no protection against the, kind that, the kinds of influences that are loose in the society that, that 